Hi, this is Paul, and I wanted to make this video blog about um, a recent trade that I did with my inner circle, but also look for further trading opportunities and start to tie in some of those indicators that are available on globaltradingsoftware.com, all of which I've developed to give uh, the best sort of trading opportunities for there. So this is gold on the five minute. Great look, it's great trade today. Uh, I just want to go through the setup of this recent trade, go through the timeline, uh, how I'm going, then I'm going to, I'm going to add the EMA cloud uh, to show you how I'm going to um, manage that with the EMA cloud. I've also got the false breakout stochastic on here, and then I'm going to be adding the Elliott wave just in case it does pull back to show you how to uh, measure that pullback and look for further trading opportunities. So, so far, this is Monday, the 7th of December. During the European morning, we had a gold short, brilliant from the gold pit open, we had a great short here, five and six start, profits taken, and then the rest of the morning were pretty much range bound. But I want to take a note of this false breakout stochastic. When we pulled down into this oversold zone, this is the last time we got into the oversold zone after that X brat short there. Then as we were going sideways, we weren't crossing over in the oversold, or overbought so this was a, a, a you know a typical range bound period so then we have the pre-market session for um, for the US session and no data today this is purely on price action on news events and everything like that so first of all <clears throat> going into the pre-market session we've gone sideways but now we start to gather momentum on this Heikinashi chart. We start to gather green candles all this time. Then we get a five star buy, a six star buy at 14.30. So 14.30 European time is 20 minutes after the US gold pit open. Really good time uh, to get in there. And I did trade this with my inner circle. Um, so six star buy, we wanna go long just above the high of this candle, but we also need to look left. Are we anywhere on this range from the re from the previous you know from the previous four or five hours no nothing this entry is above all of this noise looks good so then we've got the entry and we push into uh, the US stock market open which gives it another massive boost and we're literally 1840.1 to 1869.7 29 uh, you know 29 points 10 ticks per point, that's 290 ticks, okay? $10 a tick per one contract, you can do the math. It's a big trade, an expert spotted that. Now, what we then do is we've got to look for ways. We've got a big support and resistance zone up here and it's finding resistance in there. So there's two things we can do here. We can say, right, it's not going any further. Let's take this profit. It's worth over two and a half grand here per one contract, let's go. Let's take the profit. But if we want to stay in this trade and give it a little bit more time on globaltradingsoftware.com for the trading, platform, uh, trading view platform and others, we have our EMA cloud, which is adjustable. And when we get a parabolic move like this using the XBRAD algo, I use 21. This is totally adjustable here. So I can go in, I can change that to 34 for, a, you know, if it's been a gentler move and you'll see that's a more conservative stop there. But if I change it back to 21, it's more aggressive. Okay. So then we would use the low, just below the low uh, of the EMA cloud, the 21 EMA cloud for our trading stop. Let's put that in there. At a 63.3 or something like that, 63.4. So that's our trading stop. So that's locked in uh, 23 points, okay? 230 ticks, $2,300 per one contract on this trade. Noting on the false breakout stochastic, we have got these false breakout dots here denoting a really strong bullish trend but that isn't the trading that isn't the purpose of this false breakout stochastic when we get this false breakout here and we pull back down into the oversold zone the likelihood is it will want to be like an elastic band it wants to return and goes to that main bullish trend again so we're just keeping an eye on that uh, it's helped us understand initially this range bound period we've broken out we've got into the overbought zone and now we just can't get out of it we're at this support and resistance zone 
So the false breakout stochastic is also available on globaltradingsoftware.com. The expert algo that gave us the signal is on uh, globaltradingsoftware.com. And now I've used the EMA cloud. But what for further trading opportunities? What if we do get a pullback? Just get tiptoed out of this uh, trade here if it doesn't push up, uh, but then starts to go again. This is where the Elliott Wave comes in. So the Elliott Wave indicator suite is also available on TradingView and lots of other platforms on globaltradingsoftware.com. And the idea with this is we isolate near the lows for this, of this range bound period, it's just here. And then it automatically counts the wave count. So we've traded the third wave of this Elliott Wave sequence, which is fantastic. That expert algo is to find those potential big moves, which it's done. So right now, it's printed some pullback zones. Okay, so the wave three high has been made. Now, if we do pull back and take out our two thousand three hundred dollars per profit per one contract, uh, and we, we bank it. But it finds support in this green zone. The false breakout crosses over into this oversold zone against this very strong bullish trend denoted by these yellow dots. There's another chance to go long. And this is the beauty of having really sensible, uh, strong strategies uh, with trading software. So we get in early with this five and six star buy from the expert algo. We're managing it with this EMA cloud, which is a fantastic tool, very, very simple to use. And we'll just keep, I mean, if it continues to go higher and makes a new wave three high, we'll just to continue to trail it just below here. But if we do get taken out, we'll take the money. We'll see if we get all the rules met with our Elliott wave indicator suite here. If it finds find support in the amber zone, you know, that's an 80% probability to go on and make a new wave five high. Okay, it's not projected that um, automatic wave, fifth wave target zone yet because it's not hit the probability pullback zones. So right now, we've got $2,300 profit per one contract locked in on gold futures here. We've used the false breakout stochastic to initially confirm that range bound period. We then got a five and six star buy from the expert algo. We've traded that. We've used the 21 EMA cloud here to manage that trade. We're up to a major support and resistance zone there now. So we're nice and tight, lots of profit locked in. But now I've included that Elliott wave indicator suite because if we do pull back against that main trend and it's a measured pullback, by this indicator and we get all the other rules met including that um, stochastic going back into that oversold zone against this very strong trend there's a high probability we're going to go on and make some more new highs so sensibly locking in profit um, and then you see we just changed the bar now and the, the you know we're at 863.6 so we can just change that there the trading stop just to follow there looking a little bit weak now just it could pull back take profit if it does we've got a great opportunity to look use a different indicator suite from globaltradingsoftware.com to continue this trade so hopefully that's helped you know i'm using a few or four indicators here from um gts the elliott wave the x brad algo the false breakout stochastic and the ma cloud it, the, the, the chart isn't too busy, but even those four indicators have given me a massive trade today and given me really good, sensible trade management strategy. And now looking uh, at this pullback to potentially trade a fifth wave if it just comes a little too deep there. So hopefully that helps and um, I'll do more of these videos combining these indicator suites from globaltradingsoftware.com.